today with my little daughters, Mary Blueberry and Tiger956. And we are going to have a little paranormal Q&A. Ooh, spooky! I get a lot of questions about my experiences with paranormal and things that I believe. And so we're here today to answer some of those questions. And Mary and Lucy are going to help in asking them. What's the first question, Mayor? Do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely. Do you believe in angels? 100%. Do you believe in demons? I think demons exist. I've never encountered one. Do you believe in aliens? I don't know yet. Do you believe in God? Absolutely. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Not really. What are some places that you've been? I have been a lot of places locally. In Atchison, I've been to the Sally House, McIntyre Villa, the Depot there, Jackson Park. In Leavenworth, I've been to the Fred Harvey House. And back in my 20s, uh, up on Fort Leavenworth, but it's hard to get up there now. I've been to the Independence Marshall's Home and Jail. I've been to the Belvoir Winery. I have been to the Garnett House and Hotel, Garnett, Kansas. Yeah. Do you talk to your dead relatives? No, I mean, well, yeah, I talk to them like, like praying, talking to them, but they don't talk back. <laughs> uh, do you go ghost hunting? I do go ghost hunting, but I don't like to call it ghost hunting. What do you like to call it? I like to call it paranormal investigations. Mm -hmm. Pie. Paranormal investigators extraordinaire. Pie. I think. Ghost hunting just sounds cheesy. Pi, paranormal investigator extraordinaire. There you go, Pi. <laughs> What's your team name? My group is called Prison Town Paranormal. What is your bucket list of locations to go to next? Ireland. Okay, but that's probably like my end all be all. Bucket list. I'm terrified of Malvern Manor, so I want to go there. <laughs> um, I'd like to go back to the Garnet House and Hotel with my team. My ultimate goal is to find places in Leavenworth that have activity that haven't been explored yet. Like Do you house. take your kids? I take my kids sometimes, but not to overnight events. I don't like it. I want to go with her. Yeah, they're dying to go. Uh, how do you protect yourself? I protect myself, one, with prayer, two, with herbs and stones, crystals. That's pretty much it. I keep stones on me. I keep stones in my car. I am constant prayer. I have an open dialogue with the spirits when I enter a place that they are, I'm there to talk to them, but they can't leave with me or hurt me. Uh, what's the hardest part of investigating? <sighs> Looking over all of the evidence. The last place we did, we did, it's the first time as our team by ourselves. I personally had hours of recordings and 300 photos to look at and hours of video footage. What's your equipment wish list? I want an, um, an IR light, an infrared light. I want an ovulus. What's an ovulus? It's a box that spirits can oh, allegedly talk into. Oh, you mean it, a spirit box? No. Oh, another um. spirit box is different. I want an ovulus. The word that the spirit says allegedly into the device comes up on the screen. And I have used one before oh. and had some very intelligent mm. responses mm -hmm. at the Belvoir Winery. Mm. Oh, I also want a Fleur camera. They're extremely expensive though. Uh, what are places you've had experiences while not investigating? In Atchison, there is a place called the River House or the Pepper Mill. In my time, it's been a restaurant. Down by the river is currently not in operation. Pepper Mill River House used to be a brothel. And I had a creepy feeling in the bathroom. And I think my girls both had experiences in the bathroom there too. They just may not remember. I remember one of them coming out of the bathroom and saying they felt like they heard breathing in there and there was I nobody else in there. You, that was me. I always feel paranoid. And then there was the priest on the hill in Atchison. Now I 
can't even say that out loud without kind of chuckling at myself. Because wait, wait, wait. Did you write this in your uh, journal one time? I feel like I read that one time. And uh, <laughs> as I'm doing my service, I look up. Because I keep seeing something moving out the corner of my eye. And there is a man in a long black robe and one of those big cardinal-like hats walking down the hill. Okay, and he that. had a cross down the front of him, like a necklace with a cross. I was thinking of a... Was it like solid? Or... Solid black. Or not like... And he didn't have a face. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how you know it wasn't... That's the first time I've ever shared that story out loud. It was just... I don't even remember. It was just not there. And it was gone just like that. Uh, but I kept seeing it out of the corner of my eye and I thought it was just my glasses and finally I looked up and I caught it. Um, that it, it is not the first time that I've seen something like an apparition like that, but that's definitely something that's memorable. And uh, again, that's the first time I've shared that out loud. What did your family and friends think? Well, my friends, think I'm crazy and that it's cool and most of my people that I consider to be my friends do it with me. My family, um, I think, it's I think cool. they humor me. No, 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 no. I okay, my kids think it's cool, but <laughs> I think that like my other family, aunts and uncles, my father, I think they humor me and they want to listen to my stories. Um, but I think they think that I, I'm dumb or it's dumb, it's a waste of time or whatever. My husband also humors me. He uh, was just like, just go and find yourself a ghost. Good luck. You know, he's a skeptic. Equipment you use. And uh, then like a question mark, apps question mark. Um, equipment that I use, I have a digital voice recorder. I have my cell phone. I have a digital camera. I have a grid light. And last time we went on investigation, I used a game camera or a trail cam. And I have my intuition and my brain and my feet to run in case I get scared. Apps, I don't believe in apps. Yeah, they're not reliable. Don't. Pokey, pokey. No, oh, there's a ghost. It's right too easy to believe them if you're like an easy believer. I enter everything with skepticism, including apps. Have you ever been possessed? No. Only by the Holy Spirit. Praise Jesus. Are orbs spirits? They're a piece of dust. They're dirt, dust, or bug. I would say 98.5% of orbs are dirt and dust and bugs and specks on cameras. And 1.5% if they can make their own light. Eh, okay. Maybe orbs. Maybe. That's a spirit. I'll buy it. So, Zach Bagans, fact or crap? Zach Bagans is full of crap. Demons do not possess you everywhere you go. There is not a demon everywhere you go. It is impossible. Zach Bagans, you suck. Tell me a scary story. Okay, scary story time. Ready? Once upon a time, in a jail in Independence, Missouri. Oh, not this story. There was a entity, a spirit, an energy, if you will, named Tom. Tom liked to hurt people. Tom was in prison there, in jail there, for killing his pregnant girlfriend. He was kind of a jerk. And I let him know that I thought he was a jerk. And in return, Tom slapped me in my face. I got extremely cold, except for this side of my face right here, which was burning hot. And the investigative team that I was with said, you've been slapped. And later in the evening, Tom called me a slut three times. I'm a married woman. I think he was wrong. Next question. Were you scared? No. <laughs> I wasn't scared when it happened. I just think that it's pretty weird and cool that, that it happened. Where locally do you wish you could investigate? The VA. 
I want to investigate the VA here. It is uh, old, old, old buildings and they're slowly being remodeled. I think that there is a hotbed of activity up there that's untapped. Ouija board, good or bad? Bad. Ouija board's bad. Don't touch them. Um, I do not recommend using a Ouija board, but if you do, tell it goodbye before you end. Say goodbye. Don't, don't, don't just end it. Don't just Say goodbye. end it. Don't get scared and run out of the room like the pansy that you are. Keep your hands on the Ouija Tell it and say goodbye. goodbye. Also, it don't let the board trick you. Make sure it actually says goodbye. Yeah. I've seen videos where it just says yes. Close that board down. Just don't use them. Jeez, they're frightening as heck. Okay, I'll make sure to bring one into the house um, this Halloween. Negative. <laughs> Have you ever captured an EVP on, er, on film or ever been touched? I have never captured an EVP. Um, an EVP is electric voice phenomenon. And no, I have never captured one on my recorder or on camera. Have I ever captured a ghost on camera? Okay, let me tell you about the time I was at the Belvoir Winery. And we were getting ready to go into the bunker. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I know that one. And we were all taking pictures like behind where the morgue was in between the bunker and the winery. None of our pictures came out, but the ones that you could see people in, you could see other people in, if you know what I mean. There were like, like two boy boys twins. Boys and they had afros. <laughs> they either had afros or they had hats on, like the flat brim hats. Like I see the, on the little boy that I saw in my house, so. Um, was it a ghost? Was it double exposure? We like to believe we captured something. Um, we were extremely new to this and it, it might have just been double exposure. Um, yeah, I have more to that story, but this is turning into a really long video. <laughs> it again. Are you exploiting <laughs> exploiting exploiting the dead? No, I don't think I'm exploiting the dead. I'm not doing this to make money or to become famous. I'm doing this to see if you can communicate with Ghost. spirits. Spirits. Uh, the I think the veil between this life and the next is extremely thin and I don't think that a spirit has to be trapped somewhere to communicate with you and I just um am I exploiting the dead? No. I don't think that I am. Is that it? I have one more question. Okay. What do you think of voodoo? I think that with all things, especially voodoo, it must be positive. I think positivity in all things is important. If you put good into the world, you get good back out of the world. Um, when it comes to voodoo, you may want to put a curse on somebody on a little voodoo doll that you have. I say, do not curse that doll. I say, kill him with kindness. I say, put a, a spell or a curse. Is it a curse when you want good things? Spell. On that doll of positivity that that person that doll is representing could change their hearts or their minds. Not that they'll break their legs or die in a fire. Yeah. Don't let your voodoo doll on fire to kill somebody. I also have a question yeah. for you. Do you believe that dogs and tiny children can see ghosts? Yes, absolutely. And uh, why? I think they don't know any better. And I think that spirits know that. I think the spirits know that dogs and little children can see them. Everybody can see a ghost. And they can't say that they see them. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't show adults or people that know how to speak. You could trick them. Just my opinion. This whole video is just my opinion. I really love spending time with my friends doing this, and um, we have a lot of fun. And it's harmless, good times. Any other questions before we go? Do you believe in pumpkin kings Blow that it. sit on their book. buddy's butt? I mean, head. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Thank you, Candle Queen and Walmart for the candles. And thank you, Granny, for the ceramics. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye, subscribe, leave a like, and be awesome. Make sure you share this. 
Um, down below, I'm also going to share some links to some other vlogs I've done about places I've been where I've had paranormal experiences in the past. And I'm going back to McIntyre Villa on December 1st. And you know there's going to be another vlog about that. Yeah, and also make sure that you have your notifications on so you know if she goes live. Ding that bell. So you never miss a video with the Pumpkin King. Uh, we, should name him, we should name him Benjamin and bring him everywhere with us. <laughs> Say goodbye, girls. Bye-bye. The lighting made it look like I was just hope it's, a vampire. Just hope it's sound earlier.